Hello and welcome to day 27 of Project 27. It is the 27th of November. Right, we've talked about many things in my video blog update thing, uh, but something that was occurring to me, well, we're all thinking about why there hasn't been like a good computer game for Doctor Who. I came to the realisation it's probably because he doesn't shoot anything. He's a near non-violent superhero, in a way. Which then made me start thinking, what games aren't violent? Right, thinking of video games and thinking of ones that aren't like simulation games like say The Sims or a flight simulator or a train simulator or a rail simulator. Something, a game with a plot, is it violent? My first jump to was uh, thinking of Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario, but even them are violent. Sonic jumps into things, Mario jumps onto things to destroy or kill things. Even that the Doctor would never do. So could you have, in a computer game, a non-violent hero protagonist? Journey is the only game I can think of where you are not violent, but then you are completely just moving forward in that and you're not actually coming across any kind of villains or enemies and you're all you're not quite the hero despite the fact that it follows the hero's journey pretty much i mean just for a brief example the role play games that i have for the playstation 3 which is like dragon age and final fantasy you attack monsters you defeat them you fight them in battles mass effect with shepherd the only real shepherd that matters uh, you again, you're a soldier, military, you're shooting the aliens. Batman, you're beating thugs up. Dynasty Warriors, you're reliving the romance of the Three Kingdoms. So again, set in war. Even Naini no Kuni or whatever it is, which is a beautiful, rendered, amazing, anime-esque looking game about a son trying to cure his dead mother. You fight monsters. <laughs> You have a sword, you fight the bad guys. And all the games I have for the PlayStation 2, the PlayStation 3, the, the original PlayStation, the, P, the, the PC, the Sega Mega Drive, the Sega Master System, all had protagonists who went out there and defeated the monsters, the bad guys, the villains, by might, by force. Could you have a game that relies on a hero that outthinks their problems, doesn't tackle them head on, and when they do tackle them head on, doesn't actually, you know, pick up a gun and shoot them. Is that why the Doctor and non-violent computer games aren't action orientated or plot orientated? The Doctor works well in scripts, in TV, in books and comics because you can solve more problems without resorting to violence. But in a game, is that the only way we can advance plot? I'd be interested to know what you think and how you and how you would tackle a, a computer game version of the Doctor or a character like the Doctor who is non-violent. How could you advance a plot in a computer game? How could you interact with gameplay in a computer game? where you are not actively active. I'd be interested to know, I'd be interested to see how anybody could do it. Later.